So great performance today. You kept this all on the edge of our seats. What did you make of today's game? <sighs> to be honest, uh, start of the game, probably first half, not really our best performance. I feel like we was kind of, kind of soft. And when you're coming up against opposition like Burnley, you know that they're very physical. And they like to just go all the way, go 50-50s. So I think first half was a bit poor when it came to that. But when we went in at half time, Alan spoke to us, said we need to get stuck in more. And we just need to bring more energy to the game. And in the second half, we realised we've one goal down. We realised we can't let them, firstly, we can't let them score again. And secondly, we've got to score. So I feel like we put all of our energy into that. And as you can see, two late goals in the game is probably, I don't know, I've, this is why we play the game really. Feelings like that, just, I'm just over the moon right now really. I don't even know really what to say, to be honest. And Norwich has just scored. What do you want? What do you want? Um, there was quite a lot of shots today, um, on target and off target, coming from yourself as well. Yeah. What do you think the issue was in the final third and how come we only got two goals today? I just feel like it's one of the days. Like, as players we all know sometimes we have games where every shot's going in. Like, if you followed our season, we've gone game winning five by like five goals, three goals, four goals. So it was just one of them games where it kind of took a while for us to get into the game when it came to, to burying our shots and stuff. But when we got one, we were just hungry for another and then came late in the game. Even though it came late in the game, it still came and now we've got three points, so that's all that matters. You linked up really well with uh, Kamara, obviously, for the goal um, and with also Clark as well. Is that um, a sort of relationship that works really well on the pitch usually? Yeah, definitely. I feel like because me and Abu kind of grew up here together, so it's like our seventh year together, signed at the same time and everything. We always have that kind of bond. So I just feel like, and before the game and stuff, I always tell him, if I get down the line, make sure you're in the box because I'll get in there. So I feel like he just knows when I get on the ball just to get in the box. And Flynn, he's new in, but his personality, he's like all the rest of us, like he fits straight in. So when it comes to on the pitch, I feel like our personality's off the pitch, match on the pitch. And we're just a close bunch of lads, so just, yeah, it's all connected, really. And our last question, um, obviously he's done when we played the first 45 minutes today. What's it like having a first team player with so much experience like him on the, um, on the list today, the squad? Well, it's definitely a great experience, especially because in the change room and stuff, and he also joined us for a bit of training. He's just he's just a board leader, isn't he, really? And he was giving us advice, telling us what to do, especially like staying connected with the back line. I know the first goal was probably a bit disappointing, but after that, as you can see, we didn't concede after that. And that was probably down to his communication. Even though he came off at half time, I feel like he still led the back line towards the end of the first half and it kind of just followed on. So I feel like having that first team experience just kind of allows us to adapt during the game.